Um, first of all, if you're asking, if you're showing 11-year-olds the difference between consent and coercion when it comes to sex, I already believe we're, we're starting on a sticky wicket because the truth is, is it doesn't matter about consent, it doesn't matter about co coercion. What we should be teaching is, is this is inappropriate, full stop. I believe that over the last 30 years, and I've written quite extensively, as you know, because I've been on here, about the issue of paedophiles in our, in our establishments, and we have to be incredibly careful about the sex education lessons that we have at school because I believe it's entirely inappropriate a lot of the conversations that we're, we're allowing strangers to have with our children. I believe if anybody needs to be having sex education lessons, it should be parents. And I would agree with that, and I abs and that's why I think as a two-prong attack, it's really, really appropriate. We know at Childline that there's a deficit between the age of 7 and 11 years old, uh, where things um, are happening to young people, and because there is no education or awareness, they don't actually have the tools or the education and the know-how or where to ask for help, or indeed to know that it's perhaps wrong. So only the guidelines yeah. that sh surely have got to change because the world in which our children are, are growing up yes, has I changed. Do have that. Um, mm. And uh, predominantly, uh, obviously, online mm -hmm. issues. Uh, uh, would you say that they were becoming sexualized earlier? Absolutely. And there's very little uh, that a parent can do to prevent that. I, I agree with the first part and I disagree with the second part. They are becoming sexualized earlier and there is plenty that a parent can do. And that is, first of all, start parenting again. Parents have handed their children over to computers and smartphones to raise their children. And parents have taken their foot off the pedal. And that is the issue. I've been since my daughter's now 17 and since she was about three or four I started really exploring the issue of sexualization because it became really apparent to me obviously what we're dealing with is a massive issue aren't we because mm. obviously when you're looking at sort of pop porn the sort of Rihanna's and the Nicki Minaj's and everything that's what our children are receiving that sort of information and what we need to be telling our children in schools if anything at all about sex education is about relationships absolutely it's about appropriate about respecting yourself we're sort of mm. thrusting them into this idea of a sexualized world where we don't need to Let me, when yeah. parents need to pull but, it back but, that, but that is exactly where the education should start and does start and what the work we do at Childline does start with that.